Hey everyone, today we are going to unbox this and this is a veteran Sherman L. I'm sorry, I just returned from Vancouver and I just found this thing by my porch. Uh, I'm ridiculously tired, but I'm going to unbox it and I'm going to review it next time. So this is an unboxing video. Well, it is what it is. I didn't wait it because what's the point? It's just a box with a wheel inside. I'm just going to put out the wheel see what kind of setup it is. I bought it from eWheels. I'm not quite sure what is going on with, you know, like uh, power pads and everything, but all right. A lot of foam. It's rather a good thing. Oh, I love this. This is a pre-cut Velcro to put on the side of your wheel with the holes. So you won't spend any time on that. Pretty cool stuff. A bit more of that. Oh, wow. The power pads. Nice. Lovely. I love this. Okay, so you will send it with power pads, which is great. These are, well, legit. Maybe not the best ones, but they're legit. This thing has some uh, texture and, well, it's not too slippery. I think it's good. I'll try them out at least. I guess this is the charger. 5 amp, 5 amp charger. Not too bad. Okay, so now there is a wheel inside. I'll try to lift it up using the front handle and the stand and it's going to be just basically the first test of lifting that up. Uh, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Then I, I will tilt it forward and pull it out. It's going to be less pretty, but more smart, I would say. So yeah, let's do that. We need to plug it to a charger to unlock it. So let's do that because I'm really curious how it, it balances itself, uh, I guess. Okay. Oh my goodness, come on. All right, it's gonna be a little bit more complicated. Really, Lipper Kim? You, you did it. I cannot open this one with my bare hands at all. Okay, unlocked. The wheel looks good though. I mean, I really like the build quality besides this ridiculous thing. Okay, now let's do the walk around of the wheel. It's bare version, just out of the box. I didn't modify it or put any Velcro on. So just, yeah, let's see what we have here. So overall, I like the quality of the wheel. It looks very, very solid. Everything is very sturdy. All, uh, all details are very snug and you barely can move them besides that freaking thing. Okay, so let's take a look at the pedals. Pedals are pretty much identical to the Lynx ones. I don't have the Lynx around me right now for some obvious reasons, but I mean, these are looking pretty much the same. I love this, uh, this kind of pedals. They're big, they're fine. I have uh, the size 14 for my foot and yeah, it fits me pretty well or I feel it pretty well. So either that or vice versa. So these things are pretty much the same as well. I think the geometry here is slightly different. I'm not quite sure though. So this is looking pretty much the same for, for the jump pads and I like this. Okay, now the stand, it looks slightly smaller and I like that improvement because, well, it is uh, the same utilitarian stand and it's pretty solid, so the wheel is kind of not shaky or anything when you use it, but at the same time, it's a little bit raised, so if you hit off-road and you ride in some really difficult conditions, you won't hit anything with this, well, at least the chance is smaller because it is a little bit higher. So yeah, I like this improvement and and I think the stand is a good thing. This is nice because it sits there and it's not, I think it's not going anywhere. This is for your suspension settings. The same thing is on another side. So it looks uh, close to what we have um, on the links. It's slightly different though. I mean, they changed the design of this thing. So I don't know, like uh, I can now put it. Oh yeah, it has these sort of pins that you put in and it goes down like it's on the rails. Okay, 
whatever. The front light is the same as on the Lynx. The screen is looking pretty much the same as on the Lynx. I don't like that screen. Well, I like the visibility, but I don't like the controls and I don't like that it's barely possible to say what options you're modifying. It's kind of not great. The rear light is it's quite the same thing. It's fine. I like it. It's bright. Uh, let me figure out how to open the... Okay, I guess. Yeah. Oh, this is probably one of the best handles that I've seen on an electric unicycle. I absolutely love this handle, uh, although you, yeah, you can use one hand to open it, but two hands will be a little bit more handy. Uh, no pun intended, it's pretty solid, so it's not moving. Yeah, it's pretty solid. It's probably the best handle that I, I've had on an electric unicycle, similar to the V13 handle that I loved, but even a little bit more sturdy. Whew. So here is that quick video. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, like it. If you don't like it, dislike it. I don't really care. Anyway, thank you for your time. See you later.